Mr. Ivan has come to the dental clinic today complaining of pain in his upper front teeth. The doctor starts with a thorough examination of the oral cavity, proceeding with the specific examination of each and every tooth. The doctor then checks the specific tooth of interest, proceeding with knocking on the tooth to see if there's any pain present. The doctor then checks for the mobility of each teeth and he proceeds to touch your gums to see if there's any pain present. The doctor then does a specific test to test for the vitality of your tooth. Hi, Mr. Ivy. After doing a few investigations, I would recommend you to go for root canal treatment. What is root canal treatment? It's okay, Mr. Ivy. I understand your confusion. Let me explain to you what is root canal treatment. Mr. Ivin, please take a look on the simple presentation we have created for you. What is RCT? RCT or Root Canal Treatment is a dental procedure done to save teeth that have become badly decayed or infected. When the pulp of the tooth composed of blood vessels and nerves is damaged, it needs to be removed and the inside of the tooth will be clean and sealed. What? are the signs you might need are CT, persistent pain, chipped or cracked tooth, sensitivity to heat or cold, tooth mobility, gum area is swollen, dark discoloration of the tooth, prolonged sensitivity, deep decay. These are the differences between RCT and extraction. Now we will be looking into the steps in RCT. Step 1. Administration of local anesthesia. Step 2. Rubber dam placement. Step 3. Creating the excess cavity. Step 4. Identifying all the root canals. Step 5. Measuring the length of tooth. Step 6. Cleaning and shaping of canals. Step 7. Sealing the tooth. Step 8. Temporary filling placement. Step 9. Final restoration. Next, let's talk about post and core. What is a core? Teeth sometimes have large portions missing due to the creation of the excess cavity needed for its root canal work. If so, a core may be needed. What is a post and core? The difference between the dental core and post and core procedures is that with a post, it helps to anchor the core to the tooth. If more than half of the tooth's crown still remains, a core by itself will be enough. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about post-op instructions for root canal treatment. First, root canal therapy takes one to two appointments to complete. After each appointment, when anesthetic has been used, your lips, teeth and tongue may be numb for several hours. Avoid any chewing on the side of the treated tooth until the numbness has completely worn off. Is asking me painful? Most of the time, though, local anesthesia will be given prior to the procedure and the pain will only occur in local inflammation or when the root is curvature shape. Do all cavities require an RCT? No. Cavities within the crown, in and denting, just only need a filling. When it extends to the pulp, then we require a crown and RCT is needed. Does RCT require multiple visits? No. RCT involves only three basic steps. The first one would be excess opening, the second one would be cleaning and shaping, and the third one would be filling. With advanced automated instrumentation, RCT can be completed in one to two visits. However, in a few situations like abscess, etc., RCT may need more visits. Will RCT be very expensive? The only alternative for RCT is extraction. Compared to the cost of replacing the extracted natural tooth, RCT is much more economical. Is a cap or crown needed after RCT? Mostly yes. After RCT, in most situations, the removal of the contents of the tooth weakens them. Hence, a tooth after RCT should be kept in order to avoid fracture and function normally. Are there any contraindications to RCT, like any disease? There are no specific contraindications for RCT. With suitable pre-medication, RCT can be successfully carried out in all conditions safely. Thank you for watching.